We're here for another big matchup between powerhouse teams in the ACC. Number three, Duke, 10 and one in the conference against number 12, Virginia. Take a look at the Mazda starting lineup. Brad Burch in the backcourt. Well, you have to go with Jason Williams, probably the best player in the country. Goes to the front of the goal. He is matchup against Donald Hand. Outstanding matchup with these two guys. See, last meeting, Williams had 70 points, 10 assists. Donald Hand had a horrible night shooting the basketball, but he's at his house tonight. In the front court, Duke's front court dominated as well last time. Duke's front court is so versatile with Battier and Dunleavy being able to handle the basketball and shoot threes. Good matchup, though, with Travis Watson, Carlos Boozer, about the same size. Adam Hall can jump out of the gym. It's going to be exciting, Mike. Mike Krzyzewski now in his 21st year. How is that possible? 520 victories. And Pete Gillen only in his third season at Virginia looking forward to going to the NCAA for the first time with this program. He has yet to beat Duke in his brief ACC career. Battier stands in the center circle and waits for the Cavaliers. It's only two weeks ago that the Blue Devils were number one, lost a two-point heartbreaker against North Carolina. Their only other loss this year, a one-point loss at Stanford. This team's excellent night in and night out, Mike. They really play hard. They play together, very unselfish basketball team. Tip control by Duke Boozer. Battier for three. They really use that three ball this year to their advantage. They come out smoking with it. Jumper by Adam Hall. Follow inside is good by Chris Williams. Great position by Chris Williams. Boxing his man out, not leaving his feet until the rebound actually came to him. Excellent rebound position. Duke is a group. Excellent ball handlers. Trying to deny the pass to Jason Williams. He's being guarded by Adam Hall, who's got a little bit of a height advantage on Jason. Williams tries to go by him, and Adam Hall will be called for a push. So, Virginia sprint out. Hall has a nice-looking three-point shot. Doesn't go down. Look at the box out there. Chris Williams staying with the basketball. Kept his eyes on the ball the entire time and continued to move his feet. Non-shooting foul, and Williams will inbound to Dunleavy. What makes this Duke basketball team so dangerous is the versatility, as we mentioned. Everyone handles the ball. Williams drains a three over Adam Hall. He is the best long-range shooter in the ACC. Hand, what a great first step, then tries to feed inside, knocked out by Duke. Great defense collapsing by Duke. Duke has impressed me with this year with their ability to stick with shooting that three-pointer, even when it's not working. They continue to make that a very big part of their offense, and when they're on, it's big-time numbers. Williams goes into Watson. That one's blocked by Boozer. Good position by Boozer. He's in that big, strong frame, not giving up. Watson never looked like he had his legs under him for that. Yeah, time. he was off balance when he caught that. Try to jump into him and get the foul. James will try a three, and Nate James knocks one down. 6 2 Duke ahead to Hall. Blocked by Dunleavy, but a foul. Boy, that's great hustle back by Mike Dunleavy. Good job by Virginia recognizing that the defense was lagging, getting back. Good pass out. Adam Hall almost with the finish. Well, this Virginia basketball team, this is what they want to do. They want you to run and push the ball. That's where Donald Hand becomes more effective. When you start forcing them to go into transition offense, he likes to get to the front of the goal. Hand, you saw an example of that brilliant first step that he has. He uses to accelerate past people. Adam Hall with a free throw, his first point of the night. Donald Hand's very explosive player, and as I mentioned earlier, I know conventionally they would like for him to be more of a playmaker passing the ball around, but it's just like dominoes. When he starts scoring, his team gets excited, and they all start to get around. Get in. Yeah, yeah, you don't want him taking all the shots, but you certainly want him taking some of them. You want him taking his share. He's an excellent scorer. Duke beats the trap. 6-4 Blue Devils early. Williams in and out. Very good move in the lane by Williams. Can't let him get that deep. That's too close a shot for him to have an opportunity at too many times. Chris Williams goes oh, baseline, nice. leans into it, draws a foul on Nate James. Boy, that's good basketball. Gave him a little fake, got him on the side of his body. Utilized Nate James' own body to create the foul. The contact maintained the shot. Chris Williams is one of those guys who doesn't get publicity. He doesn't look for publicity. He just puts up the numbers. 
Now this cat can stroke it. Very solid player. Does everything well on both ends of the floor. Eighth in scoring, tenth in rebounding in the conference. Also ranked in field goal percentage, free throw percentage. Does a lot of everything, as we said. And this, this is huge. This is a huge game for this Virginia basketball team. They have to win this game because of the games they have coming up. It's no easier road going down the road. They got to play North Carolina, and they, they've got to win this game because they want to get into the tournament and they want to do it emphatically. And two great games in a row. They knocked off Maryland in the wake, and there's Boozer being fouled. Then they turn around and lose on the road to North Carolina State and Georgia Tech, which really jeopardized their run toward the top in the ACC. They're now a game under 500. And it was interesting because against Maryland and Wake, they looked like world beaters. They really took it to Maryland here. We saw that basketball game. They come back against North Carolina State, another game we saw. They looked lethargic in their thinking. They played hard, but they just weren't getting to the right, right. spots. They go to Georgia Tech. Williams in hand, shoot two for 19. You're not going to win when those two cats aren't lighting it up. So they got to get back in the rhythm. And they're 11 and 1 here at home. This is the place for them to do it. Cruiser hits one, and it's 7 6. Duke, the Cavaliers, with a chance to take a lead here. Hand guarded by Williams. This should be a good matchup. Both these guys about the same size. Watson, too strong, but an offensive rebound by Hall. Hand baseline. Kicks it back out to Williams. He goes back inside. Watson tried the little scoop shot up and under. Well, Shane Battier covered a ton of territory right there. He came from one side of the lane to the other to block that shot. Great defense. Made a career out of blocking shots and taking charges, helping out in that Duke defense. And for three, Dunleavy with a long rebound. Duke's doing a good job of mixing it up. Boozer couldn't handle the pass. Dunleavy saw him ahead of the pack and tried to get him to him. Tough play for Boozer to make that catch and still have a decent angle for a shot. Yeah, and when you feel the pressure as a big guy, you're, you, you're in between. You don't know whether to put the ball on the floor. You don't want it knocked away, and it's an off-balance thing. Never give to the big guy who's set up. <laughs> don't be so defensive about it. <laughs> Roger Mason, Jr. looks inside. Watson, double-teamed by Dunleavy, and fouled by Dunleavy. That is two on the sophomore from Lake Oswego, Oregon. Two big fouls. They're going to have to bring Duhon in to give him a break. They can't have, afford to have foul trouble deep with Mike Dunleavy. He's the most versatile player on the team. Good post up. Oh, man, he got a lot of basketball there, Mike. Got a lot of basketball. You know, I got to credit the official. He didn't call it at the beginning, and finally when Watson took the ball away and Dunleavy ends up holding onto his arm, yeah. I think that's when he called yeah. it. Yeah. Nice Williams. Move. Nice got move. It. Good post up, good pivot move, turn to the goal. Chris Duhon, the freshman from Slidell, Louisiana, is in. This is Williams trying the layup, can't hit it. The follow by Nate James. Here comes Virginia right back down your throat. You got to get back, defend. Hand. No basket offensive foul. Okay, it's hard to get a it's hard to get a block on Shane Battier. He's just excellent at getting in the right position. Blows out. They really bust out Virginia. Good. Job. He's solid and square. Boy, that's that's incredible. That is the 99th charge taken of his career. A Duke record. That's he has incredible. done it since the first day he stepped on the court. He just has a now. I mean, I thought that may have been charging before I saw the play. He was right. dead on it. He right. was dead to right. Double team inside. Excellent Virginia defense against Boozer. Good job by Virginia. Showing they can play the D just as well. You're not going to get it easy in this house. I'd just like to see Virginia play TCU. That'd be hilarious. Woo, boy, that'd be something, wouldn't it? First one of 150 wins. <laughs> uh, TCU lighting it up, leading the country in, in points and scoring. Duke is second. Virginia is fourth. And Virginia likes the, the transition game. Duke can come down and settle the ball down, try to take advantage of uh, mismatches. Early shooting, both teams under 50%. And a foul on Chris Williams, his first. Christensen comes in for Duke, and Boozer will sit down with 16-10 on the first half clock. Try to get it into Battier. There's a double team and a steal. Great, great job by Donald Hand. Then chase from behind and score. Good job by Donald Hand picking that ball clean. Could have gave the ball up, got it up to Mason, who was out of there. But take it yourself if you know you're going to make it. 
Virginia back on top. Williams gets the screen at the top of the circle. Boy, he was so fast. Looked like he lost that ball off the shot. Battier Ooh. with the follow drains a three. That's a great garbage basket. <laughs> when you pick one of those up. If Jason Williams doesn't kill you with a three, then it's Battier. Battier gets a hand on it ahead to Duhon. Well, that was just smart basketball. Williams knocked the ball loose. Battier using his head, saw his teammate, pushed it up the floor because he knew there was a layup opportunity. Great hustle. 14-10 Duke. Hand and Roger Mason Jr., the guards. 21 against 21. Roger Mason Jr. against Duhon. Takes the freshman down low, kicks it to Williams in the corner. Very good pass. Excellent pass along the baseline. Duke's got to get out. Put your foot on that baseline. That's, you can't give him that. He's got too good to give six or seven, eight inches on that baseline. Chris Williams shoots 39% from long range this year. Buried that one. He looked he cuts good. Cuts the lead to one. Yes, he did. Battier cut off. Duhon, who has handled the ball remarkably well this year. That one is blocked. What a great pass goes pass. to Williams. Bobbled it, and then knocked away by Duhon. Williams gets the block on one end, and then Duhon comes back on the other end and knocks it away. Timeout on the court, 14-42 to go. First half, a one-point game in Charlottesville. Let's update you on some ACC news and notes. North Carolina continues to sport the longest current winning streak in the nation at 18 games. Their overall record 21 and 2. Duke's second highest scoring team in the nation, just behind TCU. They had led the nation the previous two seasons in that department. And Georgia Tech, 5 and 11 in the conference a year ago. Right now, 6 and 5. They have had some huge wins in the conference as well as out of the conference. What a great job Paul Hewitt's doing down there. I mean, let's give him some recognition. This yes, young man sir. has come in and taken a program or a team that Bobby Crimmins said wasn't in that good a shape when he left, and he has done an outstanding job. Way to go, Paul. Knocked away by Duhon on the inbound. Wow, Duhon the gets the layup. Boy, great is... defensive play by Duhon, who will be the next superstar in the backcourt for this ball club. This is true. He looked like a defensive back on that play, knocking that ball out, showing a lot of athletic ability. Again, to go out for Duke's football team. Keith Friel is in the ballgame, the long-range shooter. He's number 12 in orange. This is Hall. Goes inside, knocked away from the freshman, J.C. Mathis, who checks in for the first time and gets his pocket pick. J.C. Mathis had a nice post-up. Got to be aware of who's around you. Duke collapses all the time, so you know the double team's coming. You got to get rid of that ball and shoot it quick. And not necessarily the guy that's guarding you. Battier had that one partially blocked. Here comes Hand on the run. Well, this is a good matchup with he and Duhon. Speed on speed. Yes, sir. Double team inside. Oh. Hall looked like he had his head even with the top of the backboard. And Mathis with a ball. Good job by Mathis. Showing a little strength right there. Good pump fake. Trying to loosen up the defense and go right into him. Right into that chest. Hall should get frequent flyer miles. I'm telling you, Adam Hall is the highest leaper in the, in the ACC. Absolutely. He jumped out of the gym. One point ball game. Duhon as Williams easily makes the conversion to shooting guard. He had it partially blocked on the way up by Hall and here comes Hand. Great rotation on the defense by Virginia. Good help. Oh, that's he nine line. Three. That's nine line, baby. <laughs> Keith Farrell gets in the crosshairs. It's nine line. That kid has an incredible stroke. He did not even make any motion toward the basket. Pulled up at 20 feet. Donald Hand hit him with it, and Virginia takes the lead. That's a layup. Reaching over the back, Mathis picks up the foul. Keith Friel, he breaks loose. You see him running up the floor. Look at it. He's, he's, he's trailing the play. Ball's coming in. Hand's going to stop it right about here. Continue on. Friel's going to spot up. Nothing but nylon. All right, there's the hesitation. Great pass. Oh, that's nylon. Woo! Real 43% from long range. The rest of the team has not shot the ball well. Hand, in particular, part of that probably due to the fact that he is having to distribute the ball a lot more this year. Williams turns it over, so he tries to get the bounce pass into Boozer. Great activity on Virginia's behalf on defense. Oh, good job. All what a defensive foul. call. Woo! Great footwork by, by Jason Williams. Sliding those feet, beating the man to the spot. 
Watch his footwork. Good defensive positions. One step right in the chest. Uh, he may have leaned in there a little bit, but he got the benefit of the call, I think, because Friel threw that free arm out there. Arm came away from the body. Boozer into a double team. Missed with the left hand, but draws the foul. Let him catch that basketball awfully deep. Carlos Boozer does a good job taking that position, but you got to get him out of that lane. I know they're, uh, Virginia's an athletic team. They want a drop around him. You see him step into that lane. Look at that. He's got all that space there. You got to get him out of there. You got to get him out of that lane. Keith Frill's a little late coming in, and that's why the foul happens. If you're there early, there's no foul. Frill picks up his second personal. You can see what a field day Boozer had in his last game against Virginia at home. Boozer's been, had a good year this year. Really solid. Has improved since last year. He's gotten better defensively. Solid post player. Good moves and a nice touch. It's the second free throw. It's a one-point game again. 12-24. Rapidly moving first half. So if we get some down screens. Free up Adam Hall to keep Frill. Here comes Frill off the pick. Good defense by Jason Williams. So quick. Got right through that screen. Nowhere to go. Hall, good no call. Watson with the jumper. Oh, big man showing the shooter's touch. The iron is kind. Six foot eight centers usually don't get that kind of a roll on jump shot. Or he and Carlos Boozer going at it down there, beating and banging. That one's kicked by Hall, so they get a fresh 35 on the shot clock. <laughs> And we've got a timeout with 11.52 to go from Charlottesville. It's Wahoo! Virginia by three over the Duke Blue Devils. No surprise that Virginia is playing very well at home, but it's been Tobacco Road that's been incredibly unkind to the Cavaliers this year. All four stops along Tobacco Road have resulted in Virginia losses, including the 42-point drilling they took at Cameron Indoor Stadium. Here at home, it has been a totally different story. The Cavaliers in the conference, four and one. They won by an average of 10 points. We saw them take apart Maryland here on the road in the conference, one and five. Right on that road, you just have to take the mentality that you're going to play your game, do your things, execute your offense, and just forget about all the ancillary things because it'll eat you alive if you don't. Battier well, you gotta go knocks ahead. down another three. Shane Battier has hit two bombs at six points. Got to guard him. He just shoots that ball, that three ball, too well. Got to get up in his face, make him put it on the floor. Better than 45% from long range for the player of the year candidate. Duke is at four of six three-pointers so far. Oh. Mathis, the freshman from Brooklyn, New York. Good job by Mathis, showing his... Got to get back. Boozer, what a catch on the pass from Duhon for the layup, and Duke pulled a page out of the Virginia notebook. Boozer showing his athletic ability to run the floor, get back, catch the ball, and finish big and strong. Boy, this is some great run-and-gun basketball. It really is. The tempo is up. The ball's being pushed. Oh, look at that move. Oh, oh finish the shot. Finish. He may have wanted to shoot that himself. He yeah. tried to get two fans at the end and dish it off after he had great penetration. I think the hole opened up too big and surprised him. Dunleavy, nice hit fake to get in the lane. Has it blocked by Watson, but a foul before the block. Dunleavy was called for a charge. On the last play, that is three on Mike Dunleavy, and that's huge because Duke, their one weakness, they are not very deep. That's correct. Dunleavy was just a little out of control on that play. Caught up with him. Mathis. Good pass. Nice. Nice post play. Big man to big man. High low play. Travis Watson hooks around the goal, uses the goal for protection and finishes. 24-22, Virginia. We told you this was not going to be a mismatch. Battier, a little fadeaway, eight points for Battier. Nice job of Battier. He does such a good job all around the floor, defensively, offensively. I mean, he just does it all. Friel, the transfer from Virginia with that silky sweet stroke from outside. Now he tries to drive, pull up, can't get it. Offensive rebound, and the foul is good for Mathis. You see Mathis is all over the backboard. He come to play tonight. Mathis only averaging 3.3 points. Wow. He has six 
and there's another bomb. Wow. I mean, <laughs> you need to put, put a little speed on uh, Battier. He's just starting to light it up. Matthews is going to have a tough time getting out around those screens. Duke by one. Watson has Boozer on. Very nice play. Roger Mason Jr. Good basketball. Watson with great recognition. Mason cutting into the middle of the lane, stepping right into the heart of the defense. Better get out the bat here. You better get over there. He's feeling it. Don't give it to him. He's too good. To the, you got you got to get through that screen somehow. Shane Woo. Battier has hit four three-pointers already and has 14 points. We played only 11 minutes. He's putting on quite a show. Putting on a clinic, shooting clinic. He's running off the screens, utilizing his, his, each of his own players very well. When Duke hits the threes, they may be unbeatable. We've got Duke up by two points. Shane Battier is what you call a trailer in this play. Usually it's the big guy who comes in the last play. But they use a shooter being Duke. He steps right here. Nice body pick right there by Williams. He strokes it. He's got to get through. You see Watson right here. He's got to get through two screens. There's one. Big screen right here by Boozer. He's wide open. That's too much time. You got to come through, fight through those screens, and switch, get some help. He's going to knock those down all night long. Battier's got that look in his eye like anything across midcourt. I can drain it. He's four out of five from long range, 14 points. Already two boards and charge, taking him a couple of rebounds. That's, that's incredible. A lot of times the big guy throws the ball in to inbounds it. He's the trailer. Duke's very smart. They use a shooter who is a big guy in Battier. Nobody's going to step out and go. Donald Hand against Williams. Roger Mason Jr. against Duhon. Got good position, couldn't hit the shot. Wow. Oh, almost halfway down and just rolled right off the top of the rim and Boozer with a rebound. Mathis had already scored six points. Look at it like he had eight. And Nate James running the floor with a jam. Excellent job by Chris Duhon. Great decision. Very precision pass. The defense was closing in for Virginia. He threaded the needle. Duhon really doesn't get that many minutes, and still he's fourth in the conference in assists. Mm. He really makes the most of it. Yes, he really does. Williams tries to drive. He drives into a double team and lost the basketball. Got to take care of that ball. Going 100 miles an hour with nowhere to go. Take your time. Run your offense. Chris Duhon. Look at the assist to turnover ratio. He has just been spectacular. Battier short on one. Now he's only four out of six from out there. And trying to penetrate, kicks it out in the corner. Mason. Or Mathis. Mathis. What a game he's at. Williams, he's hit one three. Mason. Got it. Boy, that's a great possession from Virginia. Continuing to pound that backdoor. Jesse Mathis is all over the place tonight. The freshman from Brooklyn is having a tremendous first 12 minutes of this ball game coming off the bench. Well, they're all over that backboard. 14 to 6 on the board. Duhon has his pass kicked out of bounds with 7.24 to go in the first half. Duke, with great outside shooting, has a two point lead on Virginia. Duke's done a good job pushing the basketball, but I want you to look at the offensive comparisons of these two teams. Look at the rebound numbers for Virginia. Keeping that basketball alive. Duke shot the ball a little bit better from three-point range. That's why they're up. But Virginia's right in this ball game. It's a pretty good physical match between these teams inside. Nobody like a Haywood for North Carolina. The no seven-footers around. That's right. Knocked out of bounds to Virginia. Well, they continue. Duke continues to pound that three-point shot. Down. They keep shooting that shot. Just it's a part of their offense. You have to accept it. They're going to shoot a ton of threes. Well, oh, they not only accept it, they embrace it. Yeah, they really do. They've hit six out of ten so far. Nobody's led by more than four in this ball game. Chris Williams and Battier almost casual takes it away. He's got such great hands. Back on the other end, Williams nearly returned the favor. Williams got to take better care of that basketball. You got to grab that thing. It's so valuable. He's got the possession here. Goes to make a pass and he, he changes his mind. It looks like at the last second to throw it to Watson. Battier with great hands. Comes a three up. Guarantee it. 
James was working for it. Battier was open at the top of the circle for a second. Now Williams. Penetrating oh, leads so into one. Offensive rebound. Kicked out to Battier. A rare wide open miss. And here comes Donald Hand on a dead run. He did the smart thing that time. Battier was back on defense and he just got rid of it. Good job, Robert Jr. You got to take care of that basketball. Moving around. Run your offense one time. See if you can get something out of what you do every day. 6.13 to go. First half. The lead is two for the Blue Devils. Williams against Battier. Baseline had it partially fall. Oh, Great follow up. He took it to the hole. I didn't think he had anywhere to go. But continue to play. Didn't stop. 11 points for Chris Williams. James bounced it off his foot. Williams with a loose ball. Good thing. Take advantage of the opportunity. The mistake. Put some points on the board. Donald Hand looking for three. Oh, Rattle that. The follow by Watson. Good rebound by Watson. Travis Watson is 6'8", 254. Number two in the ACC in rebounding more than nine a game. It's on that backboard. Eats glass for supper, Mike. That's what you need. You have to have that guy with the nose for the ball. Virginia back on top by two. Mike Krzyzewski stops the clock to talk to his kids. To the screen down. Good little bump. All part of the game. Five thirty-six to go. First half. Virginia has just been killing Duke on the board so far in this ballgame. That is what has kept them in it. Now they go on a six-nothing scoring run to regain the lead. There's the offensive rebound story. You can't give up ten offensive rebounds in the first fifteen minutes of a ball game. No, you really can. You got to credit Virginia for tipping the ball, keeping it alive, and having the lively legs to continue to fight for that ball. This guy, right, this one. Woo. For a 3.6 offensive rebounds a game. That's that's wonderful. That's a nine-point opportunity for your team when he gets that basketball. Boozer will sit down for a breather. Christensen back in in the middle for Mike Krzyzewski. James out of the corner loves that corner. Yeah, they spread that corner. That's incredible. I mean, three beats two every time. And boy, they really take advantage of their shooters on this ball club. One point lead for the Blue Devils. Mason bangs into Christensen. Pretty good defense by the big guy. Good job by Christensen. Good what you call a show on that. Oh, oh, oh what a step. Oh, oh man, Thunder and then buried it. Well, up and under drop step move right to the goal. Good move. James, way off. Chris Williams with another rebound. Shot, Mike. He just felt like it was the right point of the ball game to take that back-breaking shot, and he was wide open to shoot it. And he was dead right from 22 feet, an 11 to 3 Cavalier run. Back pair up by four. James slashes through two defenders and draws a foul. Watch Travis Watson catch his basketball. Watch his footwork. Fight, fight, fight. Pivot up under. Good job. Strong move. Look at that throw. Little pump fake steps under. Matt Christensen forgot he's left-handed for the moment. That's what the, that's what happens on yeah. the Turns to the right side and the other side. You block. Watson was very patient. Had a good shot, knew he could get an even better shot. Maybe even draw the foul on Christensen as well. Smart basketball. James, who is now Duke's best free throw shooter among the starters, is nearly 80% hits that one. All five starters for Duke averaging in double figures this year. James is the guy who seems to hold everything together. He always rebounds well, always shoots well, plays good defense, extremely unselfish. He's the glue on the court. He does a little bit of everything. Like I've said before, just doesn't get the recognition he deserves. The senior out of Washington, D.C., 12 points in the first half. Got to get to that guy. Oh. Three, great head fake to get open, and then he missed it. Look at Hall. 
Are you kidding me? That's great effort. That's all that is, Mike, is wanting the basketball more than the other guy. Adam Hall just soared over top of everybody. Boy, he's explosive. Man. Boy, is he fun to watch. That was the 11th offensive rebound for Virginia. Incredible. And that's athletic ability. Keeping that ball alive. Tipping it to yourself and the Gavin going get it. Pete Gillen is going to love that. Christensen commits an offensive foul with an illegal screen. I want you to watch Adam Hall. Watch his legs. There's shots up. Everybody's boxing out. Look at that. He's up around the goal. Keeping that ball. That's how I used to go up and get him up. I used to jump out of the gym like that. <laughs> I couldn't jump over a dime. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't get even with it. <laughs> We're at the half in Charlottesville. The inside game of the Cavaliers getting it done. They are up by four. Over the Blue Devils of Duke, 46-42. Welcome back to University Hall. Sold out, by the way, here in Charlottesville. Mike Patrick, Brad Doherty, it's great to have you with us. We told you at the top of the telecast, it may have been a blowout in Durham. It probably was not going to be a blowout here tonight. Well, Virginia's done a great job of keeping the basketball alive. I mean, they have 13 offensive rebounds to Duke's five. That rarely happens because this Duke's a very scrappy club. Virginia's playing with a lot of heart, guts, and metal. If they keep it up this second half, it'd be an excellent ballgame. And they are absolutely killing Duke on the boards, 25 to 10. The rebounding advantage in the first half, 13 of the 25 were offensive rebounds. Both teams shooting very well from the outside. Duke 7 of 14, Virginia 3 of 8. That's a good percentage. They just haven't had nearly as many opportunities. They've gotten it done inside. And Battier and James have combined for 16 points for Battier, 14 for James, 30 of Duke's 42 from those two guys. See what happens. Duke usually comes out the second half. They will try to set the tone. Get back in this ball game right away. Roger Mason Jr. goes baseline. Dunleavy was hampered by foul problems in the first half. Is back out there. Hall kept it alive but knocked it Boy, out of bounds. Adam Hall could have got two hands on that basketball. It was his. <laughs> They're doing a poor job of getting the body on him. He's just been able to float too freely into that lane. Adam Hall's too good of an athlete. You got to turn and find him and go get him. If you want to identify Hall, when five guys go up in the air, he's the one with his head above everybody else. That's exactly right. Watch for his head to come out of the crowd. Williams to Battier. Penetrating. Now pull up jumper. Great defense by Williams. He made it anyway. Excellent defense. That was a tough, tough shot Shane Battier just made. Great concentration on his behalf. 18 points for the All-American. Watson knocked away by Boozer and last touch by Watson. That's what you don't want to do if you're Virginia. Two possessions, two turnovers, two opportunities. Duke's already gone down on one score. They come back here and score. You got tie ball again. Or with a three, Duke the three, regains the lead. Wouldn't be surprised if they took a three, would you? No, not at all. Williams passes on it, goes inside, tries a circus shot and made it. That's good strength right there. A young man is a powerful young man. Holy cow, Hand trying to use his quickness back the other way, can't get inside. Williams drives, leans into Boozer, no call. Williams hits the shot, a good no call by the official. Excellent job by the official not calling the foul. Williams back the other way for the Blue Devils, his pull-up jumper. Virginia just controlling the boards. Hall! Wow. Good job by Virginia. Now all of a sudden they're into it. Now you got to play the D and keep it going. Keep it going. I think everybody in here was disappointed. He didn't get a chance to jam it. I know it. Let him go. <laughs> I was. <laughs> Bad pass, but a holding foul is going to be called on Hall as Battier went down. Two on Adam Hall. Here's what both coaches have on the floor so far and their points to this point. Battier now with 18. Williams the only man in double figures for Virginia. He has 14. Dunleavy has yet to score because of those foul problems in the first half. And they need a contribution from him. They really do. They need him because he's so big. Rebounds, shoots the ball, and handles the ball. Whistle before the shot. Offensive foul on Bozer. Boozer was trying to get the position down low. Didn't quite see the play, but I guess there was a pushing foul. 
Hoosiers first. Hand guarded by Duhon. Watson. Oh, boy, that's it. It just won't stay down. Battier went down. And he's right back up. <laughs> he never quits. Duhon can't get by Hall. He's got great quickness for a front court player. Battier. I think that was a pass for Dunleavy. He got caught in between shooting and Here passing. we go, Alley. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> There's some serious hops for that young man. Oh, man. 52-46. Oh. You saw it from 20 feet away, didn't you? Oh, my goodness. Dunleavy, baseline, reach around by Mason and Fowler. Oh. That was spectacular by Adam Hall. I'll tell you what, we say it time and time again. You see, look how smart this is. This is good peripheral vision. He's got a guy right up here, but he sees Adam Hall running the floor. And I tell you what, when you see this happening, you don't need the peanut butter because there's a lot of jam, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this cat can jump out of the gym. Look at his head. Look at his head. Mm. Dunleavy scores on the inbounds. Watson back the other way. The Cavaliers love the run. I'll tell you what, Pete Gillen's over there. He's got that towel out. He's on it. His shirt's soaking wet. He's coaching his heart out over there. Duhon guarded by Donald Hand. Battier. Tough matchup right now for Watson. He's done a good job. Dunleavy kicks it back. Oh! oh on Dunleavy, and that's four on Mike Dunleavy. Good if job. You lower the shoulder, you're That's in right. trouble. Good job by Chris Williams stepping up, helping, closing the gap. Nowhere to go. Let's see if he's there. Look Good like defense. It. Good defense. You got all those orange shirts. There's nowhere to go. Dunleavy averages 13.6 rebounds and three and a half assists a game. He has done virtually nothing tonight because of foul trouble and has to sit again. Virginia by six with the ball. Roger Mason, great pass. Watson missed it, but he's fouled. Boozer may have been just a step late getting over there. Good hustle, good try by Boozer. He stopped the basket, but foul was called. Two on Boozer. Non-shooting foul, I believe, and they'll inbound. Jimmy's done a good job, throwing a lot of toys coming back. Oh, you better get him. They let Hall go, missed the shot. Watson tried for the big jam and couldn't get it. Great hustle. By Virginia getting on the backboard. They're still keeping it active. Oh, that's going to be a block. Boy, Donald Hand thought he got there. Instead, he picked up his second personal. That's great hustle. You realize, though, after all those charge calls, they're going to call everyone. So you just get the, you just get the feeling that it's not going to happen. Let's see. Jason Williams. I believe he's on the side of him. I believe it was a good call. James with a runner. Wow. Got it. What a great shot. Acrobatic shot by Nate James. 16 points for the senior from Washington, D.C. The lead's down to four. Good pass. Watson, fouled by Boozer. He That's had great three on Boozer. He had great post-up position. He got inside Boozer. Boozer's got to do a better job of getting around. Can't let him get that deep. Look how deep he is. Watch this. Look at this. Freeze it right there. Stop it right there. Look at that. He's too deep in that block. You cannot give a big guy who can post and drop step that much room. And he backs him even further under the goal. Three on Boozer. Dunleavy already on the bench with four. Boozer will get better at that, though. He's a young player, continues to develop. Then learn more about that position. Got to push him off that block. Free throw by Watson is good. Boozer will sit. Christensen is it. Watson short on the second. Check it. It's not Christensen. Sanders is in for Duke, making his first appearance. The sophomore from Tampa, Florida. 
He's 6'11", but only 218 pounds. Duhon, a long court. Boy, that was good as soon as he left his hand. He never doubted that shot. A rainbow. Hall. Offensive foul on Hall. Guess who drew the charge? Shane Battier. That's a hundred in his career. And Adam Hall picks up his third personal foul. But it was Adam Hall who made this building light up just moments ago. Virginia continues to lead by two. Look at that. The first time these teams met, Virginia bricked it up 27% from the floor. Tonight, they're shooting lights out against a heck of a defense. Jason Oye has been very quiet tonight, only three points. Duhon, a far away out of the corner, you Woo. kid. Man, I'll tell you, that's, I, there's not much defense for that. And Duke has regained the lead. Not much defense for that. Chris Duhon has come off the bench to score 11. They need his points because of Dunleavy's foul problem. Hand mugged on the way in. Jason Williams picks up the foul. Duhon does such an excellent job to run the baseline. Here comes the pick right here from Nate James. Good solid pick right there. Gets him wide open, basically wide open. Good hand. Defense was there almost since the second late. That was Friel trying to get there and couldn't. Well, and he... wide open for three. Jason Williams with a rebound. Oh, Patty in. That's the second. Oh! Oh, he's missed and Hall went down hard. He is still down. And Williams will fire a three and hit it. Hall got up so high then had contact and came down sideways. Looks like he's all right. Oh, boy, that was scary. That's incredible. Oh, he gets up so high. Wants the ball out. We gotta be careful. Hall will try a three. And glanced it right off the glass. Gotta be careful. You don't want this thing to slip away. Duke's starting to heat up a little bit. Great pass to Nate James for three. He fires up an air ball. In a 13-3 run. Hand. Oh, Batty Hay! He just comes out of nowhere. Shows why he's the defensive player of the year. Virginia almost got the steal, but it would be good basketball into the Cavalier basket. Shane Battier is such a great defensive player. His whole career. Look at him. Here he comes. He continues to play. Knows he's going to get an opportunity to block on the ball. Fourth in the league in steals. Fourth in the league in block shots. Those block. are usually two stats that do not go together. You You're either right. steal a lot of balls or you block a lot of shots. It takes a special player like a Shane Battier to be in the top four in the ACC in both of those. Exactly. 59-55, Duke regains the lead. You said at halftime what Duke wants to do is come out real strong to start the second half, and they have. Yep. They want to come out, put pressure on you, and expend all of your energy early. Then you play catch up. And then, you know, that's where they're great. When they're ahead, they're, they're almost impossible to beat. So they're going to put a lot of pressure on them. They've got the lead. Virginia's got to take care of the ball, get some good shots offensively. As much as you might be able to enjoy Shane Battier's career while it's in progress, when we end up looking back at what he has done, 63 wins in the ACC, that's second. Steals, he's fourth all-time, third in block shots, first in charges taken. Two-time National Defensive Player of the Year, I think there's no doubt he'll add a third to that. And he and his teammate are Player of the Year National League candidates, along with Joseph Forte, was the last time three guys from the same conference or two guys from the same team were National Player of the Year candidates. That's incredible. That Nate James incredible. got the follow off the Battier miss, and Duke opens up a little breathing room. Nate James does a good job. Nobody boxed him out. He went right to the glass. Duke on a 15-3 run. Mason gets a runner. Boy, what a move by Mason. Boy, and he did a great job, too. He knew if he continued under the basket, he might draw a charge. He pulled up at the end, still made it. Sanders has it blocked, but he's fouled by Watson. Jason Sanders comes in. Hadn't got a lot of playing time this year. Saw him early in preseason. Thought he was going to be an excellent, excellent player, but just uh, things haven't worked out well for him. See the nice push through on shows the Jets, the speed. Nice pass to Sanders. He's got to go in and ram that one home. Watson puts the big body on him. There's the foul. Sanders 
gained some weight in the offseason and got stronger. He's still only 218, and that's awfully light for a coach player. Well, you're that big, 6'10", 6'11". Get a little more weight on there, but he's worked hard. He's gained some weight, improved as a player. Dunleavy comes back in with those four fouls. They're going to give Nate James a rest. And Dunleavy's got to come back in the ballgame. He's, he's been filling at a couple of different spots, and they have to rotate the other guys out of there. The one man you will almost never see leave the court is Patty. Yeah, you're right. Sanders misses them both. Neither one looked very good. No, it didn't look real comfortable. Got to get up, get locked in, shoot those things, stroke them, visualize them going through the net. And Duke's team has hit only five out of ten. No way to go. Is in the ball game. Good defense by Duke. Boy, they're shutting every passing lane down. No holes open. Chris Williams kicks it out to Freely. Yes, the double. Wow. Up to three and he made it. What a shot. What a shot. You know that guy's searching for that three-point line every time he catches the ball. Right Duhon trying to answer on the other end over Freel. Freel's got a tough time keeping up with Chris Duhon. Just a little too fast for Freel. Well, back to the last, that last Freel shot. If you think it's easy to make a 20-footer on a double clutch, go out in the driveway and try it. Yeah, you're right. He went up, came down, still got it off. Chris Williams, what a great move over three Duke defenders. Good job by Williams. we got to get him in this ball game. He needs to be taken over a little bit more. He's got the ability to make a huge difference for Virginia. He's been quiet. Hey, this is special. This is fun. Dunleavy, nice pass to a wide open Battier. That's good basketball, good unselfish basketball. Dunleavy taking on both guys, drawing the defense. Easy pass for his partner Battier for the 10 foot shot. Battier has 20. Screen down for Friel, see if we can get him open coming off the screen. Here it comes. Good defense by Duke. Duhon's too quick. Watson, nice pass inside, missed by Mason. Then he got a tie up with Battier, the held ball, the possession arrow gives it to Duke. A missed opportunity for the Cavaliers to pull within two. 11.56 to go in the game. It's a four point lead. Duke over Virginia and Shane Battier putting on quite a show. Boy, well, he is just so solid. You see a loose ball right here. The ball gets knocked out, tipped out. He's wide open. He just makes wide open shots. Give him a little bit of room. If he gets square, fundamentally sound basketball player. He has just been huge tonight in this basketball game. On both the ends of the floor, as you see. Mike Krzyzewski said he is the most fundamentally found, fundamentally sound player he has ever had at Duke. That covers a lot of guys. Yeah, yeah. But he, he's, he's unbelievable. He's got great quickness. Good jumping ability. He's a smart basketball player. Just makes good, you know, being that athletic and being savvy too is a is a great kind of deadly combination. Duhon, a lot of minutes at point guard, gives it up to Williams. Well, Chris Duhon's gonna be a superstar in this league. Man. Boozer with the left hand tries to bank it in the foul. Had the rebound, and Boozer commits his fourth. Gotta be smart. Made the move, shot didn't go down, don't go back and foul. You want to follow up. You got to be smart. You got to see what your opportunities are, what's available. Boozer and Dunleavy both in foul trouble, and Sanders will come in immediately for Boozer. Right down 11 minutes and 38 seconds. That's when Boozer sits down. Duke has a 9 4 advantage in rebounds in this half after being decimated on the glass in the first half. But now Sanders is the guy who's got to do the job out here and not not a very good foul that time. Casey Sanders stepped out and just caught a piece and picked up the silly foul. That's called a show. When the big guy steps out, that's called showing on the ball. What you want to do is you just want to slow the ball down, try to help the guard get through the screen. You don't want to try to take a charge or create a foul situation. It's hard enough keeping up with a goal. Well, they got Roger Mason going to the free throw line, and I think Mike Krzyzewski pointing out well, now they change it. They put up the seventh team foul against Duke. The scoreboard showed six, so it would be a one and one situation. And Coach may have been contending that was only the sixth team foul and obviously a non shooting foul. But on the seventh, it doesn't make any difference. Pete Gillen, he says that's fine with me. Got no qualms. Look at his shirt. He is, I mean, he's working so hard. Uh, we got to get a picture. Look at Pete's shirt. I mean, look at that. Look at that. I mean, Pete, you look at He's pointing. He's looking all over the gym. Where's his towel? He's got to find his towel. He's got his towel. He's ready to get down there. He's ready to play. Let's get after it, guys. What a great guy. 
Mason, who shoots almost 86 and a half. There's a towel. There it is. That's important. You got to know where that's at at all times. Don't need a chair. Need a towel. Mason hits them both. 12 points for Roger Mason Jr. and a two-point lead. And he's done a good job getting back in the ball game. Of course, there's never, there hasn't been any huge leads outside of the first half, so we're going right down to the wire with this one, I think. Williams, nice dish to Sanders. Got it. Good job by Casey Sanders catching that ball and finishing. Good pass by Williams, giving his guy an easy shot. Seventh assist tonight for Jason Williams. Good drive. Excellent for Casey to get his confidence up. It's an easy bucket. Mason, great drive. Couldn't finish, but Watson can. Good job by Travis Watson. His guy, Casey Sanders, went to help defensively. Casey was doing what he's supposed to do. Duke playing without two starters on the bench in foul trouble, and they are down by two here in Charlottesville. Good pick. Sanders tries to help. He actually turned the wrong way. That was the problem. He turned in the complete circle. Lost sight of the ball and man. That's a big no-no. Cardinal sin in basketball. Boozer and Dunleavy both with four personal fouls. As long as it's reasonably close, they'll stay there. Yeah. yeah we won't put those guys in the game, take a chance and foul them out. Jason Williams trying to take over. They spread the floor and he missed the jumper. What a great matchup with Adam Hall on, who's jet quick as well. Roger Mason kicks it out to Stefan Don 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 with a big shot. You know how many three-point shots he's hit all year? That was the fourth. Wow. What a time to hit one. That's a great time to knock one down. Virginia back oh, on foul. top. And Don Don, that's one of the reasons when he's been healthy, he's had a tough time staying on the floors, reaching fouls like that. See the drive right here. Roger Mason Jr. kicks it out to Don Don. He squares up. Tickles the twine. Don't want to create a create a foul situation on the other end. They're trying to be a little aggressive out there. It's a guy who can say three-point shot in four different languages. <laughs> That's incredible. Brilliant. Bright young man. Good student. We don't talk enough about how good a student these kids are. There's a bunch of them out there That's tonight exactly from these right. two schools. That's right. Nate James. Sanders wanted the ball inside. James goes back outside instead. Williams. Had it blocked. That shows a little lack of confidence right there on Nate James' part. Yes, Not it does. Get. Sanders was wide open. He wouldn't give him that basketball. He had his man on his back. Give him that ball. He's in the game. He's a part of this. Cavalier bench standing. Nice grab by Don Don to prevent the turnover. Good job for Allen at basketball. Wild pass by Watson. Got settled down. Mason doing a good job at the point with hand on the bench. He's not going anywhere. He's got to go somewhere. He's got Battier in front of him. That's wow. not the time to do that. Stop me trained it anyway. There's nothing you can do about that. You get a T.O. when that happens. Get a T.O. There it comes. 71 68 Virginia by three. A nine two run. Wahoo! Roger Mason had the basketball. He had nowhere to go. Great defense by Shane Battier. He goes to the right. A little crossover between the legs. Put a little bit of stuff on it. All you can do is fade away. You can't block a fade away, but coaches don't like him. But I guarantee you, Petey Dillon liked that one. It's got to be tough when you know the shot clock is winding down. If you turn toward the lane and guess who's there? The soon-to-be three-time national defensive player of the year. He did everything he could to try to get him out of position, and then finally, you got to take the shot. Got to take it somehow. You want to be going to the basket. That's what coaches preach. When a guy fades away like that, you, you know, most time he's going to miss. So there's nothing you can do. 71-68. Dunleavy is back in the ball game. Big possession for Duke right here. As well as they shoot the three, I wouldn't be surprised to see a curl screen for Dudley to come out and shoot that three. Duhon working at point guard. Jason Williams for three. Short. 
Nate James tried to keep it alive, but Watson wraps it down. You could surmise that a three was coming from somewhere on his team. Mason wheels into the lane, back to Watson, seven oh, points. That's good. That's good basketball. Good basketball. Well, Watson's got that look, doesn't he? He does. He looks angry all the time. Like, get near me, I'm going to snap you like a twig. <laughs> now, you come down here defensively, Virginia, don't make the silly foul. Play hard, make him take honest shots. The lead is five. First half, the Cavaliers led by as many as eight. Dunleavy for three. Well, that's good. Tough shot. Man, that was good as soon as it left his hand. Good job by Dunleavy. Nice ball fake stepping through the hole. Five points for Dunleavy. He could be the real difference in this ball game if he can stay in these last eight minutes. Tough matchup problem for Virginia. Boy, the momentum was really rolling for the Cavaliers. That was big. That was, that was a huge shot. Roger Mason Jr. shot clock down to 10. He's guarded by Dunleavy. Looking for Watson against Battier. Lost it on the way up. Yeah. Williams on the run. Three on one. Oh. Taking himself blocked from behind by Williams. Great hustle by Williams. Good job by Duke. Good defense. You know, that was one of the few times that I can ever recall Duke being on a fast break and they didn't have guys in the right position. Yeah, I agree. They called a foul on that play. It was on Mason. Mason's on the inside, oh, okay. caught him on the shoulder, I guess. Williams got the block from behind. And Williams will go to the free throw. Earlier in the year, shooting 75%. Now he is under 70. And Duke, as a team, has had problems at the free throw line in the last few ball games. You struggle shooting those free throws, and it becomes a mental problem. It becomes a mental issue. Got to be confident. No, everyone's going in here. If you miss everyone, get confident when you get in there. Really going to have to go to catch up to the numbers from the last meeting. Duke as a team has hit only 5 of 11. Now make it 6 out of 12 free throws. A mere 50%. They're down by one on the road with 7.45 left. Chris, a one-point lead for Virginia here. There aren't many places in the country you can get away with this on Valentine's Day, saying to your best girl, honey, guess what I got you for Valentine's? I got you a ticket to the ball game. <laughs> Let's go. And she's happy about it. That's a good gal right there, Mike. Yes, sir. <laughs> Roger Mason, Jr. will bring it up with 738 and counting. Virginia trying to get back to 500 in the ACC and knock off the Blue Devils. Uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh, oh, he felt it. Watson had a hand on it, but knocked away and corralled by James. Oh, Keith Frill, he, anytime he sees a little daylight, it's up. Oh, man. Good too hot. He's hit two rainbows in this game. Mike Krzyzewski told me earlier in the year that Chris Duhon can just flat shoot the basketball. He needs to shoot it more. I agree with him. Duhon with 17 points. Duke has regained the lead as we approach the seven-minute mark. No quarter asked, none given tonight. Oh. And Watson dribbled the ball on the baseline. Oh, Chris Duhon doesn't even think about it. Watch him catch this basketball. He's ready to shoot. Square it up. That's where he's supposed to be. Shoot it. Where he's supposed to be is anywhere he is open. What a nice stroke. Duke by two, 6.54 to play. Duhon has hit four three-pointers. Batty A had it blocked by Williams. Good defense by Williams. Got numbers. Roger Mason Jr. wheels into the lane and Battier came from behind to knock it away. Great hustle by Battier. Nate James did a good job as well playing the defense. Battier just so brilliant defensively. If you don't see him, you better not shoot because he's going to be over you. He's got enough speed and quickness to cover ground, and he's such a good athlete. Tough Williams. shot. Three over the long rebound. Well, they try to break it back with that three at times. That may be a little tough shot. I don't know if they want that in their offense. But hey. Can't question if it goes down, it's a backbreaker. We're pick and roll high right here from Roger Mason Jr. Watson's gonna set a nice pick for him. Kicks it out to Friel. He's wide open. Mason. Got it! Big time Virginia shot. Back on top. Big time shot by Roger Mason. Good job by Travis Watson setting a nice pick up high. And if Virginia hits its three-point shots, they become doubly tough. That's the one chink they seem to have in the armor this year. I think you'll see a lot of picks for Keith Friel trying to bring him off screens to the ball. 
Boozer down the lane, switches to the right hand and hits it. Nice shot by Boozer. That was too easy a shot. Watson's got to step up and stop that basketball. These guys are just wailing on each other, and Duke has gone back on top by one. Hall. Good pass. Williams, fouled by Battier. Nice pass. Good turn into the middle by Hall. He's so explosive. You think he's going to jump, go to the goal every time. Coming up after this game at 9 o'clock, number 21 Notre Dame taking on the Scarlet Knights of Rutgers. We invite you to stay tuned for that. We've got a long way to go here, though. 526 left in this game. Williams at the free throw line. Chris hits the first. You'll get another. Dunleavy comes back in, and Battier will get a rare breather. That's something you think Mike Krzyzewski's got to do in a racehorse game like this. Already 77 points apiece and still 526 left. And you want him fresh with about three minutes to go so he can come in and give it his all. He's going to do it anyway, but you want him at the peak of his performance. Williams makes them both. Two big free throws. It's just bounced back and forth. 78-77 now, Virginia. Full court pressure. Duhon wants a clear out so he can bring it up against Hand, who's got a good rest. Got numbers, got numbers. You better get back and get Duhon. Oh, that's Nylon. That's Nylon. He's hit four. <laughs> Chris Duhon. Nylon, you can't leave that cat open. I'm telling you. 20 points and a career high for the freshman from Slidell, Louisiana. Well, he's been huge tonight. He's made some big, big shots. Keep this basketball team alive. Five out of six threes. Here's a steal. Williams against Hand. Foul on the way in. That's three on Donald Hand. Chris Duhon is showing that, that all American status. Hall fell down, trying to recover. Boy, this cat looks good when he squares up. Nice shoulders. What's Coach K doing over there on the fence? He said, all right, now let's go. Let's dig in. Let's dig in, guys. Come on. How about having a kid who can come off the bench when a starter like Dunleavy gets an early foul trouble? Can play the point, can play shooting guard, hits five out of six three-point shots for him as a pretty good defender. That's pretty good luxury to have. Not bad. Williams free throw line, and he continues to struggle there in recent weeks. He'll get it better. Keep working on that free throw. He'll get his confidence up. Start stroking those things. Duke has made six free throws tonight, but they've missed seven. A tough time to see shooting the free throws. Williams against the double team. Mason open for three saints. Oh. Another big shot by Roger Mason Jr. He has 20. They won't go away. This is beautiful. 81-80. Virginia back on top. ACC basketball. This is what it's all about. Dunleavy. Nate James almost had it, but Chris Williams comes out with it for the Cavaliers. Smart play by Williams. Does have numbers. Oh. Too late, he got everybody. <laughs> Woo, man. Oh. oh, you gotta wear your hard hat down there. And even Battier says, I don't think so. No, he don't want none of that. When Battier was in the first one trying to stop it, he don't want to try to get under that. Adam Hall, five out of nine, two spectacular jams. They don't look to him for scoring that much, but they have looked to him for getting people out of their seats and the bench on its feet. Battier with a very brief rest back in the ballgame. Virginia by three. And we are down to four minutes to play at University Hall. Mike Patrick, Brad Darty, glad you could join us for what has been a great ball game. Williams. Tough shot, can't hit it. Contact underneath. I think the foul's on Watson for pushing Battier. Yeah, he pushed Battier in the back. One of the smart play. He had the rebound. It was coming long to him. That's four on Watson. Got to be smart in that. That's big. Yep. Box out, get your man. Everybody get somebody. Tough shot by Williams. Long. They had that rebound. Williams turns. Oh, yeah. 
Battier just sort of disappeared from the lane, and that was the fourth foul on Watson. So Battier will go to the line. He hasn't shot the ball from the free throw line all that well lately either. He's going to make them when they're big, though. He will make them when they're big. This would be a one-point game and is. 83-82, 3.47 to go in the game. All night long, we have had plays like this from everybody on the floor. This is Adam Hall. I have a feeling we might be here for a while. 347 so, to go. I wouldn't mind two overtimes in this one. This has been yeah, fun. This has been good basketball. Both teams just nip and tuck. Can't tell you what a good job Roger Mason Jr. has done running the ball club. Hand is Boy, back in there, and there's Adam Hall. Mason Jr. has hit two big three-pointers, and there's Adam Hall showing an athletic ability. Adam Hall, 13 points. The lead is three for Virginia. Can't forget where the three-point shooters are. Got to guard them. Well, for Duke, they're everywhere. Yeah, they are. So that means everybody's got to get a man, get his chest. Don't give him that much room. Jason Williams rimmed one out, and the rebound of Watson. Double team trying to step through and get rid of it. Got to watch the 10-second count. Got to hurry, and Donald Hand just made it. Good job. I mean, he just made it. So and Pete Gillen, Pete Gillen was up screaming. You got to get across that timeline. Pete's screaming all the time anyway, so. Well, this was specific. <laughs> a very Pete. specific instruction. Virginia nearly doubling. Duke on the boards they had a 25 10 advantage in the first half. It's only 13 10 in the second half. They've done a good job on the backboard, keeping that ball alive. They've hustled, fought, dug, clawed, scratched, did it all. Virginia. They've won 24 straight. That's regular season games on the road. The average margin of victory has been better than 16. Three overtimes included in that streak. Of course, they won them all. And the last road loss over two years ago at Chapel Hill. I like this guy with the ball, Roger Mason Jr. He's done some good things with it. Hit some clutch shots tonight. Mason again. There he goes, there he goes. That would have made it a six-point lead. Well, that was a good look at the basket. Williams gets away after a Battier screen, reverse, and score. Well, that's good news for the, for the ball. Just kept playing. Battier dropped back. Jason Williams has only 11 points in this ball game. He averages almost 21. Now watch the shot clock, see if Virginia tries to burn some time. That's really not their nature. Good post. Good Coming from behind the steal, but out of bounds. Excellent defense as Duhon came from the blind side and picked it. That's what you want if you're a big guy. I tell you what, Travis Watson got Boozer on his back. Did a great job. Just didn't get up quick enough with the ball. Only 16 on the shot clock. Williams wheels in. Foul. Reach in on Duhon, I believe. Yeah, got the foul on Duhon. Williams did a good job of spinning back to the middle. The double team didn't close between Boozer and Duhon. He stepped right between them. Got the foul. It's one on Duhon. Dunleavy is set to come back in the ballgame for Mike Krzyzewski. Got to close those traps. Anytime someone steps in between a trap, there's a foul opportunity. And 90% of the time, it's going to be on the two people trapping the ball. Chris Williams has hit five out of six from the line tonight. Now making six out of seven. He's in the top ten of the ACC in that category as well. There are virtually none that he is not in the top ten. Loser will come out as Dunleavy comes back in as Mike Krzyzewski puts a small, quicker lineup on the court for offense. Now he's got five three-point shooters out there. I don't know what they're going to do. <laughs> I can coach from here on out. You're good. Get out there. Get on these guys. They're going to shoot threes. <laughs> Williams missed the second one. Hall did a nice job of trying to keep it alive, but tipped it out. It's a two-point game. And a timeout, 30-second version for Mike Krzyzewski and Duke with 1.58 to go in the game. You don't think Mike's drawing up some big down screens and guys coming off to the three-point areas and shooting three-pointers, do you? The rule has really revolutionized the game. When it first came in, uh, 
I don't know that that many people coached to it, and yeah. now a lot of people do. Yeah, yeah, they coach around the rule in the beginning. Now they coach to it. If you're Pete Gillen, you got to get these guys switching. They got a small lineup in Purdue. You got to have guys match up. Every screen, screen gets switched. You help your buddy out. You step out and help. No room. These guys shoot the ball too good. Here's the Miller Lite storyline. We can use one right now. Duke, 14 out of 28 from long range. Patty with 22 points. Virginia, 15 offensive rebounds. And Chris Williams with another double-double. Well, look at these guys on the floor for Duke. Every one of them can shoot that basketball, man. That's a scary-looking lineup when it comes to having to get out on the perimeter and guard. They can shoot it brilliantly. Under two minutes to go. Virginia by two. The crowd on its feet. Duhon. James. Dunleavy. Offensive rebound to Duhon to Jason Williams. Chris Williams with a rebound. And he's tied up or fouled by Nate James. It's going to be a foul. Duke was trying to use space and a little screens to get someone open. You knew the three-point shot was coming. Everybody in the building knew it was well from TV laying out there. Good job keeping the ball alive. Got two pretty good shots at Yes, it. they did. And a big rebound by Williams. They kept it alive for the first one. Got a wide open three on the second shot and couldn't hit it. And Williams will go back to the line where he has been exceptional tonight. And there is the team statistic. Duke shooting one more free throw than Virginia, but the Cavaliers have the edge in points. And Williams hits another free throw. Boy, he's been automatic at that free throw line. This is a huge shot. He hits this, and they can play good defense. Three-point lead, 20 points and 11 rebounds for Williams. Make it 21 and 11. The lead is four. Come down and defend. Don't foul. Let the clock move. They've, they've done a good job. Pete had him switching every move. That's smart basketball. That keeps you from getting the cheap fouls. Williams down the lane oh, with good. a scoop Woo! shot. What a shot. What a shot by Williams. Boy, that's tough. You go right into the heart of the defense against three guys. There's a foul in the backcourt on Williams. Coach Chef comes up off the bench and says, don't foul. Don't foul. We're going to get another possession. Make a play. Play it tough. Let's get the rebound. Go back and score. Virginia will be in the double bonus all the way from now on. I mean, watch how quick he is. Look at this. Beep, beep. I'm gone. That cat's fast right there. I'm yes, telling you, he, he cut the lights off and be in bed before it gets dark, Mike. <laughs> Donald Hand, one of the best free throw shooters around. Only two points tonight and missed that when he's shooting 83.6% this year. Had a streak of 33 in a row. That's a big free throw right there for Donald Hand. And he needs this one. Only two points tonight for Hand, who averages 13 and a half. Got the second one. It's a three-point game again. Jason Williams. They let him go down the lane with a left hand. He missed that one, but he's fouled. And the foul called on Roger Mason Jr., his third. I'll tell you, I'm watching the game, Mike. I can't announce. I'm sitting here watching these guys. <laughs> That's incredible. He goes to the basket so quickly, so strongly. It's an exciting atmosphere here in this, this gym. You don't know what's going to happen next. Well, we keep saying, you know, they're always looking for the threes, but Williams comes down, sees the light, lane wide open. He's going to take advantage. Yeah, he's an opportunistic basketball player. When that, when that lane opens up like that, you're not going to stop and shoot a three. You're going to the goal. He's hit only one out of three tonight from the line. One out of four. Got to get some confidence. This is what killed Duke against North Carolina. That's right. That's right. And hurt him against Maryland as well. Yes. Got to get some confidence, Jason. Step in there, dig in, knock it down. Take a deep breath, shoot the ball. Let it go. The crowd's going nuts. Williams hits the second. It's a two-point lead, 104 left. Big possession. Pete Gillum has had some big wins. This would arguably be the biggest he's ever had in Virginia. Hand against Williams. Shot clock in the left corner of your screen. Hand got by Williams. Batty A waiting. Kicks it outside to Hall. Knock it down. Oh. Hand had Good the job. shot and passed on. Shot clock stopped. The entire clock stopped. 
Now it's running again. Hand goes down the lane. Williams leans into one line of contact. No whistle. Put the Watson ball on the floor. Floor. Take it away. Don't put the ball on the floor, big guys. You don't do that. I think the clock stopped for about three or four seconds. It just froze. Yeah, I don't think it moved. It must have. I know the shot clock froze. I'm not sure about the game clock. Let's see if we can see it. When it gets to 10 on the shot clock, or 11. Oh, wow. Three. Woo, three, maybe four seconds. Duke has used its last time out. You played at North Carolina. There was always that feeling you guys were better than whoever you were playing. If it came down to a situation like this, you knew you were going to win. They probably knew you were going to win. Who's got the psychological advantage right now? I'd say Duke has a psychological advantage. If they can tie this basketball game up before Virginia gets the next possession, it's going to break their backs. They're going to try to get this ball game in a tie situation, just like Maryland, and break their confidence. 24.8 seconds to go in the game. Duke down by two. The Blue Devils have lost only twice this year. By two to North Carolina, one to Stanford. The Cavaliers come into this game slumping. They've lost two straight in the ACC. This would be huge. Shot clock is off. Williams is guarded by Hall. That's a good choice by Pete Gillen. Yeah, Hall's done a good job. Athletic quick. Good switch. Nearly oh. a steal. Hall commits the foul on Battier with 14.3 seconds left. And Battier will go to the line for two to tie it. Oh. That's a tough foul. Tough foul. Didn't look like an awful lot there. No, it didn't. I think, boy, he was so close to having the steal. Let's see if we can see it. Wow. Well, if tough. he gets the steal, we thought those first two shook the <laughs> Raptors in here. Oh, man. He would have taken off from half court. <laughs> 14 point three seconds left. Battier will have a chance to shoot two free throws and tie it, but it has been the free throws in their losses that have killed them. 58.6% yeah. in those two losses in their 21 wins, they are at 72. Earlier in the season, they were near first in the ACC. Virginia continues to be first as a free throw shooting team. Tonight, they're only nine out of 17, and sometimes those are things you just can't explain. Yeah, you're exactly right. I think Matt is gonna step in and make these two free throws. That's my prediction. He just concentrates so so well at the end of ball game. I'll be surprised if he doesn't. He has hit his only two tries tonight and has 22 points. Got off to a tremendous start. The consensus preseason preseason ACC player of the year. We are in Charlottesville. 14.3 seconds to go in the ball game. Number 12 trying to knock off number three. Shane Battier will go to the line. Two for two tonight. 73% free throw shooter. One of the most clutch performers in the history of the Atlantic Coast Conference. In every phase of the game. He can tie it if he makes both. Huge. That's Com one. More confidence and focus. Not with one a question on that shot. He just steps up and knocks it in. Got to admire that, don't you? That's great. That's what it's all about. This to tie. Makes it look simple with all that pressure. We're tied at 89. They played an overtime game at University Hall a year ago. Will we do it again? Got to hurry. Roger Mason Jr. being dogged by Duhon. Oh, on the lane. Go! What a great play. Wow. And now the students are crowding on the court with four tenths of a second to go. Virginia is up by two. Adam Hall knows for the basketball. Unbelievable job getting to that basketball. Good job by Roger Mason. The lane opened up and he attacked Adam Hall. Like I say, he does everything athletically around the glass, picks that ball up, lays it in.
Roger Mason Jr. took so much time off the clock. I didn't think anybody was going to get a good look at the basket. He dumped it off the hall and he was able to put it in. Now, I thought he was in trouble as well. Mike at half court. Duhon played good defense, even knocked it away temporarily. He gathered the ball up, went to the rack. And I think Mike Shashevsky, what he is saying is that the clock should have stopped with about a second to go. It registers now at about point four. And I think he is correct. It appeared to continue to run after the basket. I think when Coach K watches this film, he'll realize he got one earlier. But the clock, the clock kind of hesitated. Yes, it did. Second. So we'll call that a push. See if we can tell. Well, I thought he was in trouble right here. Duhon playing good defense. And it's through with about eight tenths, maybe nine. Yeah, about eight tenths of a second. So they're going to have to put a little more time on it. See if we can tell you exactly. All right, here's Hall. Ball goes through nine tenths of a second. Duke out of timeouts. Frank Scagliata explaining the situation to both benches. Talking to Tim Harrion right there. Nine tenths left. Remember the end of the first half in the Maryland game? Yeah. Duke threw a full court pass. Jason Williams caught it in stride and laid it in. You got to catch and shoot in this situation. Catch it and do it. And they're good at doing it. Coach K draws up some excellent plays out of bounds. Virginia uses its last timeout. There was no reason not to believe tonight. Virginia has been tough. Take a look at the basket that put them in the lead. Roger Mason is thinking he's wasting a lot of time. Here he comes. Could have got a foul right there. Adam Hall, once again, no box out on Adam Hall. He's been the problem all night. Got to get a man on that basketball. On the out-of-bounds play, you just stand there with your hands at your side. As soon as he starts to throw it, you try to get a piece of that inbounds pass. It's catch and shoot. Last chance for Duke. Somebody has to catch the pass and make the basket. Well, I got think we're going to get mashed here. <laughs> well, just keep your head up as long as you can. They're going to be screens flying everywhere. I need a helmet. Dunleavy. Knocked away by Hall. Virginia's done it. <laughs> Getting attacked over here. Man. Adam Hall, 17 points, 12 in this half. Well, I tell you, he was unbelievable, Mike. His athletic ability, his hustle, his desire. They couldn't get a body on him all night. He just kept going after it. Brad, he had a great ball game. So did the rest of his teammates. And I thought Pete Gillen did a great coaching job. Masterful coaching job by Pete Gillen. Kept his team within its own, own areas each part of the game. He step by step coached his team to this win. Excellent job. Take a look at the last play, Duke's last ditch effort. Look, here comes the fans. That's me and you right there, buddy. He's trying to jump on us. All right, big time tonight in Whoville. Virginia with a monster win at home, 91-89 over Duke. That's our story from Charlottesville.